Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier and today's guitar lesson is going to be on Don't You Darken My Door by Stark featuring Kestra. This came as a request on one of my videos, so if you've got any requests, put them in the comment section, I'll try and do a video for you. Also, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, it really does help me out. Give me a like on the video, and if you love what I'm doing and you want to support me, keep me doing these videos, I've got a Patreon account, um, I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. This is a lovely little song with just four chords all the way through. Uh, guitar's in standard tuning, but we need to put a capo on the first fret. Okay, the first chord we need. Actually, let me just play it for you, the beginning bit goes. And so on, so forth. Okay, so it starts with E minor, which is just A2 and D2. Hit all the strings. So you're going to hit it on beat one, and then on four hands, so it goes one, two, three, four, and. and then it goes to a D chord, which is your second finger E2, first finger G2, third finger B3. I'm just going to hit that once. And with these chords, just stab them. In other words, just hit them and mute them off quickly. So don't let them ring. You want to be muted off. So you've got E minor, E minor D. So you've got two, three, four. Two, three, four, and then we go to B minor, which is your first finger, A2, second finger on B3, third finger on D4, and little finger on G4. Remember, you've got to like add one number to where it is because you've got a capo on. So you've got this B minor chord, A2, B3, D4, and G4, and little finger. And you're going to hit that on beat one, and then on the four hand. And then you'll go to a C chord, which is your first finger B1, second finger D2, third finger A3. And you're gonna hit that once. Okay, so the first four bars slowly go. Two, three, four. 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 So you play those first four bars, the E minor D, the B minor C, then you repeat back and play the E minor D, B minor, and then jump over that C. We are actually gonna play a C, but instead of just hitting it as a stab, we're gonna play what's in bar five and just go. Just gonna play the A string and the D string eight times, uh, with a bit of palm muting if you want. Or you can just play it without. And then that's gonna go into the verse of the song. Now the verse is exactly the same chords, but we're just going to do a uh, different rhythm. We're going to go... So for that E minor chord, and I want you to think one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. We're just hitting eight, but if you think one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, um, and try and accent the one a little bit. So play the one a bit harder, so like one, two, Three, one, two, three, one, two. And let's do that on all the chords. So then D, then B minor and C, so you get. You could put a bit of palm muting in if you want. Um, don't palm mute the ones, but palm mute the rest of them. So. So that works nicely. So that goes through the verse. In the chorus of the song, we're gonna play the same chords and the same rhythm as the beginning bit. So we've got. But what you can do is you can just chug away at eighth notes on the bottom two strings um, when you're not doing the accent. So you get this. So that works really nice for the chorus, and then just go back to the verse as we did, and then the chorus, and then that's the whole song. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson, especially the person who requested it. Thanks for the request. If you've got any requests, put them in the comments section down below. Uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, it really does help me out. Give me a like on the video, click that um, thumbs up button. Uh, if you love what I'm doing and you want to support me, I've got a Patreon account. I've said it as cheaply as possible, so uh, I'll put lots of tabs on there for you. Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time.